Hello, I'm Colonel Don Schofield, Commander and Conductor of the United States Air Force Band in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and we are so excited to be here with you today. Serving our nation as military musicians takes us many places, from supporting ceremonies for our nation's highest leaders, to honoring our fallen veterans at Arlington National Cemetery, to traveling across the United States, giving concerts in communities just like yours. But one of the best parts of our job is meeting and connecting with student musicians just like you, sharing our love of music and representing Air Force members serving across the globe. The airmen you are about to meet are experts in their field, and it is our sincere hope that you both enjoy and learn from today's presentation. are the United States Air Force Band Woodwind Quintet from Washington, D.C. The members of our Woodwind Quintet are all members of the United States Air Force Concert Band. As part of the band, we have the great honor to serve our country as musicians. We do so many things. We honor veterans through ceremonies and funerals at Arlington National Cemetery. We tour the country performing concerts and connecting with communities large and small. And one of our favorite things to do is to connect with students like you during concerts and instrument demonstrations just like this one. A quintet is a group of five instruments playing together. And a woodwind quintet has four instruments from the woodwind section, a flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon, and one instrument from the brass section, the French horn. Woodwind instruments are different than brass instruments in the way they make sound. Woodwinds make their sound by vibrating air, either by blowing across the hole at the end of their instrument, like the flute, or by vibrating a piece of wood called a reed, like the clarinet. The oboe and bassoon actually have two reeds that vibrate together. Brass instruments are different. 
people who play brass instruments also vibrate air to make sound, but they do it by buzzing their lips together into the mouthpiece of their instrument. You might be wondering why the French horn, a brass instrument, is in a woodwind quintet. Well, over 200 years ago, composers were impressed by the warm, mellow sound of the French horn and thought it blended well with the other woodwind instruments. These composers began writing music for the five instruments you see today, which is now known as the woodwind quintet. Next, we are going to hear a bit more from each instrument in the woodwind quintet as we play a very famous woodwind quintet by Sergei Prokofiev called Peter and the Wolf. You may have heard of the story of Peter and the Wolf before. It's about a naughty little boy who plays in the woods despite being warned by his grandfather and ends up having a close encounter with a wolf. In the musical version, each instrument represents a character in the story. Hi, I'm Master Sergeant Megan Enzer and I play the flute. In the story of Peter and the Wolf, the flute represents the little bird. Hi, I'm Master Sergeant Caitlin Hartley and this is the oboe. In this piece, the oboe represents the duck. Hi, I'm Senior Master Sergeant Juliana Evans and I play the clarinet. Listen to how the clarinet represents the cat in this piece. Hi, I'm Technical Sergeant Sandy Johnson, and I play the bassoon. In the story of Peter and Wolf, the bassoon plays the old grandfather. <laughs> Hi, I'm Technical Sergeant Peter Morris, and this is the French Horn. In Peter and the Wolf, I play the part of the wolf. Now that you've met all the characters in our story, See how many of them you can hear when we perform this musical fairy tale all together. Can you hear the sly cat and the flittering bird? The old grandfather? The menacing wolf? We hope you enjoy Peter and the Wolf. Here is the story of Peter and the Wolf. Early one morning, Peter opened the gate and went out into the big green meadow. On a branch of a large tree sat a little bird, Peter's friend. All is quiet, chirped the bird gaily. Just then, a duck appeared, waddling from side to side. She was glad that Peter had not closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow.
duck, the little bird flew down upon the grass, settled next to the duck, and shrugged its shoulders. What kind of bird are you if you can't fly, he said. To which the duck replied, What kind of bird are you if you can't swim? And dived into the pond. They argued and argued, the duck swimming in the pond, the little bird hopping along the bank. Suddenly, something caught Peter's attention. He noticed a cat slinking through the grass. The cat thought, hmm, the little bird is busy arguing. I'll just grab him. Stealthily on velvet paws, she crept toward the bird. Look out, shouted Peter, and the bird immediately flew up into the tree. While the duck quacked angrily at the cat. from the middle of the pond. The cat walked around the tree and thought, is it worth climbing up so high? By the time I get there, the bird will surely have flown away. Grandfather came out. He was angry because Peter had gone past the gate into the meadow. It is a dangerous place. If a wolf should come out of the forest, then what would you do? Peter paid no attention to his grandfather's words. Boys like him are not afraid of wolves. Grandfather took Peter by the hand, locked the gate, and led him home. And indeed, 
No sooner had Peter gone than a big gray wolf came out of the forest. The cat quickly climbed up the tree. The duck quacked and in her excitement jumped out of the pond. But no matter how hard the duck tried to run, she couldn't escape the wolf. He was getting nearer, nearer, and nearer, catching up with the duck. And then he caught her, and with one gulp, swallowed her. And now, this is how things stood. The cat was sitting on one branch. The little bird on another. Not too close to the cat. And the wolf walked round and round the tree, looking at them with greedy eyes. In the meantime, Peter, without the slightest fear, stood behind the locked gate, watching all that was going on. He ran home, got a strong rope, and climbed up the high stone wall.
one of the branches of the tree around which the wolf was walking stretched out over the wall. Grabbing hold of the branch, Peter nimbly climbed over onto the tree. Peter said to the little bird, fly down and circle around the wolf's head. Only take care that he doesn't catch you. The little bird almost touched the wolf's head with its wings, while the wolf snapped angrily at it from this side and that. did tease the wolf. How the wolf wanted to catch the bird. But the little bird was clever, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. Meanwhile, Peter made a lasso with the rope, and carefully letting it down, slipped it over the wolf's tail, and pulled with all his might. <laughs> Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. And the wolf's jumping only made the rope around its tail tighter. Just then, out of the woods came the hunters. They were following the wolf's trail. said, don't shoot. The little bird and I have already caught the wolf. Now help us take him to the zoo. And now, imagine the triumphal procession. Peter in the lead.
after him were the hunters leading the wolf. And winding up the procession, Grandfather and the cat. Grandfather shook his head discontentedly. Well, and if Peter hadn't caught the wolf, what then? Above them flew the little bird, chirping merrily. My, what brave fellows we are, Peter and I. Look what we have caught. And perhaps if you listen very carefully, you will hear the duck quacking inside the wolf's stomach. Because the wolf had been in such a hurry, it had swallowed her alive. Thank you for attending today's virtual concert. We hope that you learned something about the woodwind quintet and the different instruments that make up the group. If you liked what you heard today, be sure to tell your band director, music instructor, mom or dad to find us on social media or YouTube where we post our latest performances and videos. We hope to see you again soon.